Zero padding is a technique that we can use to preserve the original input size as it's passed through to convolutional layers. As we can see with this example, zero padding works by adding a border of pixels with value zero around our input image. So this adds a layer of padding of zeros to our input, and so that's where we get the name zero padding from. We specify whether or not we want to make use of zero padding on a per layer basis for each convolutional layer. With the inclusion of zero padding, we won't lose any of the data from the image around the edges since we've now padded all of the edges with zeros. So this is our four by four input from earlier that we looked at that resulted in a two by two output after being convolved by a three by three filter. But now this image has become six by six with the inclusion of zero padding around the edges. So now if we look at the resulting output when we have zero padding, then we can see that we have the same resulting four by four from our input here since we made use of zero padding when we convolved it with this three by three filter. So now since we've padded the input with zeros, then once the convolutional filter reaches the edge of the original image data, it still has a border of zeros that it's able to move towards and traverse with the convolution operation. And that therefore leads to no loss of the actual image data that is around the edges of the underlying input.